Hi guys, today we're making a two-seater couch out of recycled pallets, so stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so you're going to need three Euro-sized pallets for this project, and these are the 1200mm long ones by 800mm wide, and they're easily identifiable by this EPAL symbol that you'll find on the side of them. Next you're going to need three pieces of timber you can get from your hardware shop, and these are 1200mm long as well, and 40mm by 20mm wide, and you'll find they'll just fit in the gaps just nicely. So the tools you'll need for this project are a saw, or a circular saw if you've got one, an orbital sander or just some sandpaper, a hammer and chisel or a screwdriver if you don't have a chisel just to pry up one of the boards, a wood rasp is handy just to knock some of those bigger splinters off the pallets and tidy them up, a drill with a screwdriver bit or a screwdriver and some screws. I've used 35mm screws here and some 60mm screws here just to attach the backrest. Some adhesive, I've used Sikabond instant nails for this project. Some nail plates, and these are good just for attaching the two pallets together. As you can see, you hit it with a hammer and the prongs go through and join two bits of timber together. And I've just used some brown spray paint just to take the shine off those. And lastly, some Feast Watson timber deck stain. Uh, you can use the stain of your choice or you don't have to stain it at all if you don't want to but I've just used that one to give it that dark uh, colour once I'm finished. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to fill in those gaps at the bottom there. So just using those three pieces of timber, I've just pre-drilled holes through these. If you don't have a drill bit, you can just screw, screw right through that bit of timber probably safely as well. So putting those 35mm screws in here, I've just attached that to the bottom. And next we just want to sand off that bottom bit where you sit. Uh, as you can see with an orbital sander it makes pretty quick work of it. But if you don't have one of these, you can just take your time with some sandpaper. And next we want to join those two pallets together. So I'll be using the Instant Nails Adhesive uh, and just putting a stripe of uh, adhesive down the two end boards and the middle board as you can see on the underside of the top one it only has three so you just need three lines of adhesive and that will stick those two pallets together quite well so here you can see how much I've used So just attach that to the top and line it up. It'll take a while for that adhesive to uh, cement in, so you've got a bit of time to line it up. Next, just want to put some weight on top of it, just to really squish that down and join them together. Next, we're going to add those nail plates. So I've used five nail plates for this project, three along the front and one on either side. Next we want to cut out this piece of timber on each side but leave the one in the middle. So using your handsaw we're going to cut out those end pieces. If you've got a circular saw you can use that in this instance and that'll make it a lot easier but otherwise with a handsaw that's the piece you want to cut out. Just the same on the other side. Alright. So, what you end up with? Piece still in the middle and gaps at both sides at the back. So now we want to do the same with the backrest. So we're going to make cuts along the bottom line here and same on the other side. And one gap up, we're going to cut halfway through that middle bit. 
And once we've got those cuts made, we just have to pry these bottom two boards off and we'll throw those away. We won't need the bottom section of this for the backrest. So line it up with that bottom piece of wood and cut along through there and do that on both sides. For the middle cut, you want to cut pr pretty much halfway through that gap, so not directly along that bottom piece. Next you're going to want to use a hammer and chisel just to pry that bottom, that second board off. Now if you don't have a chisel, you could use a screwdriver perhaps here, or hit it with a hammer from the other side of that piece of timber, and that should knock the uh, piece of timber out. And once you've got one side detached, you should be able to just pick it up and pry off from the other side like so so if you've got a couple of nails still poking out just use your hammer and pull those out Okay, so there's your back rest, and all we have to do now is slot that through the gaps we cut through before, and that will slot into place. So just showing you the side view, you can see how that bottom bit of timber just notches into that bottom piece there, and the back rest rests against the back. So what I recommend doing now is just using some of those longer screws, the 60mm screws, and just drill a hole through that piece there and screw a screw right through into the backrest and that will just keep the backrest securely in position. Okay, so here's the final product. As you can see, I've put some caster wheels on the bottom of this one and that'll just help you manoeuvre it around. I've also used some stain uh, on it, but that's up to you. If you uh, prefer that darker look, you can use a stain. Otherwise, you can just leave it as is. And to finish it off, you're probably going to want to put some cushions on top of it. The ones I've shown in the finished version are from IKEA, and they were called Kungso, K-U-N-G-S-O. Okay, so that's the end of today's project. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that like button and the subscribe button because I'll be putting out some more videos shortly. Thanks guys. Cheers.